Lucy, you're playing fetch by yourself unless you actually give it to me. Can I have it back? You ready? Okay, this is all an experiment. Uh, I've always felt that vegetable gardening was something you either grew up doing or you were just kind of out of luck. But this is all an experiment. Hopefully we'll get some food out of it. Um, I'm doing seed potatoes. Both these barrels are going to be potatoes. I've got 24, so 12 and 12. It says six inches deep. We're two weeks out from our last frost date, which is what it says. So here we go. Hmm, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit 12 in these. That's gotta be interesting. It does say that the size of your potatoes will be based on the spacing of the plants. So, hmm, let me see. I don't think I'm gonna get, there's no way I'm gonna get 12 in each. Actually, let's just measure where's six. Six is right there by the handle. All right, that's good. I'll have to figure that out. We'll figure something out. Okay, it is crazy windy and sunny. I didn't want my phone to overheat on the tripod, so I didn't record as much as I wanted to. Um, these three are now red potatoes. The next three, going on four, will be carrots. I was going to try to do two varieties of carrots per container, and then I just realized that wasn't realistic. Uh, again, this is all my first time with most of this stuff. I've been growing container plants for 20-something years. Vegetables, this is pretty new to me. I've done some here and there. So it's all an experiment. Uh, hopefully it's a successful experiment <laughs> and then the the last one down there I'm not sure what that's going to be it may be dill I haven't decided yet I wanted to show that for now until I find a better method of marking these I'm just using a sharpie and marking the name and the date I'm planting them and how long they should take to harvest uh, yeah this probably will fade but it's better than nothing right now I'm at the point where I need these hugel culture beds to be ready for planting. Ooh, our killdeer's back. He is a funny little bird. Anyhow, uh, I'm ready for these to be ready to plant. I'm pretty sure one's gonna be cucumbers and one's gonna be all tomatoes. That's the plan for right now, again, subject to change. So I'm gonna go in the woods, see if I can get find smaller stuff to kind of fill in the holes. See, like I have a hole back there. And then my plan is to put either a layer of pine straw, again, uh, harvested from the woods, or uh, maybe straw or hay, I don't know. I'd like to, for this to be low cost because I'm gonna have to pay for the soil. And then, yeah, I'm gonna get the soil to put in it and I'm really ready, or really close to being uh, ready to plant these. So right now I'm gonna go see what I can harvest in the woods. Last thing I'm gonna do before I call it done for the day, I'm going to harvest some of this pine straw off this dead tree that's going to end up in a landfill. I'm going to put it as the next layer in the hugel culture beds and hopefully this'll kind of keep the soil 
where it belongs and it all doesn't fall through. It's not actually harvesting as easily as I thought, even though it's been sitting here dead for four months. So I think what I will do is come back tomorrow with a little pair of hand clippers and just snip off each uh, cluster. I think that'll go much faster than what I'm doing now by just trying to pull the whole cluster off by hand. <laughs> attic where I'm trying to make a cardboard template to put wire over this window. Uh, my neighbor, she doesn't want to be on camera, which I totally respect. So there's not going to be much footage of this, but I did want to just document what on earth we are doing today. Earlier, I came into the woods looking to see if there was any uh, activity at that new woodpecker hole. But instead of that, which there's no new activity at the woodpecker hole, I found two sets of deer tracks. So here's some. Some of them are a little mushed and you can't really tell what they are. And there's another spot where the trail is the muckiest right now. So I'm gonna walk back there and take a little video of that too. And of course, here's the muckiest spot. There are some crawfish holes and there's a pretty good deer print. And then it just followed the trail and went almost all the way to the entrance of the trail. Okay, I am out of breath now. Um, who needs a gym when you have a garden? So after I finished putting the straw and the hay, uh, I started to think that once we put the soil, we weren't actually going to have a lot of planting space. And then I started thinking about everything compressing over time. And so I figured, well, why don't I speed up that process? So that's why I went and found that scrap piece of two by 12 and basically compressed each bed twice and hopefully it did get it down farther where I wanted closer to the uh the mark in between the boards no Lucy. <laughs> well, Lucy has destroyed her first super tour toy it split but she doesn't seem to care oh you want it anyhow all right you could take it it doesn't squeak anymore I'm really sad about this. Uh, this is my fairy garden, and these are mother of million plants, succulents that I've had for years growing in here. The planter itself is a, um, it's an old sink that I got from a yard sale, and then Darren built the frame for me. 
and then we've always covered it that's what that board in the back that was a little uh, board he put up so we could cover this more effectively and this last freeze that we had I covered it but I didn't cover it as thoroughly as I have in the past and I lost all of these so I'm completely starting over from scratch uh, really sad, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean this out now. No point in leaving it. Uh, these definitely are not coming back. This thing hasn't had fresh soil in years, so I figured if uh, plants died, I might as well start completely over. So now you can see the sink more clearly, and of course that was the drainage hole. Uh, again, I've had this thing for like 10 years. It was just one of those things I brought home, and Darren and I brainstormed, and he made the frame. Uh, those mother of millions were at least five years old. Uh, they were just so beautiful. I hate that the freeze got them. But I'll start over, and I'll give this fresh soil. Okay, couldn't record any earlier today because we had large equipment in the neighborhood. They were doing their final uh, Hurricane Zeta cleanup, so yay for that. But uh, of course now the gnats are coming out and it's getting cloudy, but I wanted to go ahead and get this planted today. I picked up one of these jumbo garden bags from Dollar Tree today, and I'm going to use it as a planting bag. And I'm going to put some butterfly milkweed seeds in it and see how it goes. So here we go. I forgot to mention these bags are actually meant for garden cleanup, things like that, you know, uh, temporary, uh, waste basket I suppose while you're cleaning up the garden but when I was researching grow bags online I realized a lot of them are made from the same material now again this is from Dollar Tree so it's not going to be probably the same quality but I again I just want to kind of experiment and see how things go this could be a complete failure this could deteriorate in the sun within a week and I'm going to be cleaning up a giant mess or it could be like best thing I figure out this year in the garden so we'll see I'll keep you updated <music>
to get out of there. Come on. Lucy. <laughs> <gasps> this is why this is a dog-free zone. And she just ran and dove in. Careful with the wire. See? She's fine. And all those little pieces of uh, old siding. That's why this is a puppy-free zone. <laughs> you saw her dive in? Yes. She put her paws up on it first and looked, and then she jumped back, and then she just... Whoo. Test. What exactly are y'all doing? We're playing. In the middle of my space. Uh -huh. You're actually right about where I want another uh, hoogle culture bed to go. She'll go find all the sticks for you. All oh, right, now you're just biting. It's all fun and games till a puppy dog starts biting. Somebody needs a break. <laughs> Thanks for finishing this up for me. You're welcome. Sun came back out, so maybe the gnats won't be bad. Mm, you're not. What? <laughs> you're not convinced? Did we make a good choice on the hinges? I think so, yeah. Okay. <laughs>